in this lecture we're going to discuss the acidity of alcohols. In other words, why are certain alcohols better acids than other alcohols? And what exactly determines alcohol acidity? So let's begin by looking at the following four alcohols. So we have methanol, ethanol, 2-propanol, and terbutyl alcohol. And each of these has a respective pKa. Now recall, as pKa increases, our acidity decreases. So as we go down the list, our alcohols become worse acids. In fact, methanol, out of all these acids, is the best acid. Why is that the case? Well, the answer lies in the concept known as salvation. Salvation is the process by which the solvent stabilizes our product. And let's see exactly what that means. Let's suppose we have some hypothetical alcohol that reacts with the base in a solvent, let's say water. Now, what is produced is the conjugate acid, so this base takes the H away, this alcohol donates the H, it acts as an acid, producing the conjugate acid and our alkoxide product, our alkoxide ion. So what happens is the water solvent molecules surround our negative charge oxygen, this alkoxide ion, and they orient in a way to stabilize that charge. So let's see exactly what that means. Here we have our alkoxide ion. Recall that our water molecule is polar. It has a partial positive charge on the H's and a partial negative charge on the oxygen. So the H's orient themselves accordingly so that there is interaction between the positive charge and the negative charge. And this electrostatic interaction between charges, between different charges, is stabilizing. And so the more stable this product is, the more likely our reaction is to take take place. So once again, the solvent, in our case water, stabilizes the product, in our case the alkoxide ion. The partial charge, the partial positive charge on the H atoms bonds to the negative charge on the oxygen. And this stabilizes our product and this makes our reaction more product favored. Now, let's take our terbutyl alcohol. Let's suppose the R group is our terbutyl alcohol. When this reacts with our base, we produce the following alkoxide ion known as terbutoxide. Now, when methanol reacts, we produce the following methoxide ion. Notice how much larger this side chain is. This group is very large. And in fact, this group will destabilize the product. Why? Well, because of this large group, the water molecules, the solvent molecules, will not be able to arrange themselves around this negative charge. While in this group, because this is a small group, the oxygen or the water molecules will be able to surround the oxygen molecule and stabilize it. So once again, in methanol, the solvent, in our case water, is able to stabilize the relatively small methoxide product. However, in terbutoxide, the large alkyl groups blocks the solvent from interacting with the negative charge. And that's exactly why our methanol is a better acid than this alcohol, this alcohol, and this alcohol because this group is the smallest out of all these groups. And because this is the smallest, our product is more stabilized and our reaction is more product favored.